What up, Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. So hyped at the semi truck event, doing all these calculations, how many semi trucks are gonna sell. Next thing out of nowhere, one last thing, what comes out of the back of the semi truck or off the stage? Roadster 2.0, the sports car, the fastest production car in the entire world. Like, it looks like the sexiest car I've ever seen. Zero to 60 in under 1.9 seconds, 620 miles of range. It's gonna cost 200 grand. It's the fastest production car in the world, period. You know, Tesla st started with the Roadster. That was their first car way back when, like super luxury. They've always said they're gonna come back to the Roadster, do 2.0. We knew this was in the works and now we've seen it. People were test driving it at the event. Like some YouTubers have already posted videos. Thank you guys. For I need one of these cars. I will get one at some point. Luckily, they don't even start delivering them till 2020. So like got time for hyperchange to blow up and make millions in between when this actually hits the market. For Tesla to be a luxury brand and to keep this mind share of like really luxury status, best performance, let's get gearheads to switch. Let's prove once and for all that electric vehicles can outperform the internal combustion engine. This car is hugely important from a brand standpoint. It cements Tesla as the top of the line. And from a financial perspective, also a brilliant move. I just put out the video about the Tesla Semi and, and you know, have been raving about Tesla's strategy with these events to generate incredible hype for the car with free marketing. I think that is couldn't be more true for the Roadster. And in the case of the Roadster, the minimum reservation is 50,000. If you want a Founders Series reservation, it's 250,000 per car. Let's do a little number crunching on that. If we assume the average reservation is 100,000 and they get 10,000 orders, that's a billion in upfront capital with no additional cost until they start building this thing in three years and then tack on what they did from the semi. Like this is a multi hundred million dollar capital raise. I'm just so hyped as a fanboy. Like this, this better be in the new Iron Man. Like James Bond should get this car. Maybe he's going to get outbid by Jason Bourne. Who knows? It's just such a badass looking car. And, and from a like actually revenue perspective, I was thinking about it. I was like, okay, if they sell 10, Ten thousand per year at two uh, hundred and fifty thousand dollars average selling price. Then that's two point five billion in incremental revenue, which is not small. And this is a, remember, this is super luxury. This is going to be really high margin. Look at the margins that Ferrari has. Ferrari. Everybody thinks Tesla trades at a crazy price sales multiple. Ferrari is actually more expensive on a price sales multiple because they have astronomical, like forty or fifty percent gross margins because they're selling multi hundred thousand dollar cars. Now Tesla's getting into this business. The gross margin on this Roadster, in my opinion, is going to be thirty, probably even closer closer to 40%. So if we assume they're getting 40% gross margin on $2.5 billion worth of sales, that's 10,000 per year, that might even be a low ball, then we're looking at a billion dollars in incremental gross profit for Tesla. Remember, Tesla only did $1.6 billion in gross profit as a whole company last year. This Roadster product line could be doing a billion alone. But it's three years out, it's gonna be so long before this actually hits the road. It'll probably get delayed in between then. Do I think anyone will actually be driving one that's a consumer before 2021? No, but in 2021, I think people will be driving it and I think it'll be like shatter the internet with how epic it is. 600 miles of range on one charge. Like, whew, like that's insane. Zero to 60 in one, less than 1.9 seconds. Like, <sighs> I need one. Like, is this a needle mover for my Tesla investment thesis? Probably not really, but is it, could it be a super high margin profitable piece of the business? Yes. So from that angle, like it is an important part of the company, but is it really what's going to drive, you know, a doubling of the company's share price from here? No, but from a less tangible impact standpoint, the impact that it has on the company's brand, the free marketing that Tesla is going to get from having this car, which is going to drive sales of their lower priced cars. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Like, are you saving up? Are you going to get one? I know I'm trying to. Love to know what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's HyperChange, Tesla Roadster 2.0. Mine has been officially blown. The newest, hottest electric supercar is coming to the market in 2020, and I cannot wait. That's HyperChange. See you guys next time. Peace.